Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Side Roses. In today's video, we will discuss about the contact module. Contacts are created in the contact applications for customers. The company does business with through Odoo. A contact is a repository of vital business information facilitating communications and business transaction. Now let's see how can we create a contact form. In order to create a contact form, we have to navigate into the contact app. So as you just move on to the contact app, you can find a form appears. Like you can find all the contacts that is recently created. By default, it will be in its Kanban state and in Kanban view. And it has different views such as list view, um, activity view and the map view. So uh, in case of the contact, we can only create the contact when it is when it is in its Kanban view as well as in list view. In the map view and in the activity view, we cannot create the contact. So here you can find the different views. Now let's move on to the default view over here. Now in order to create a new contact, you can just click on new button and this will open a form with various contact information that can be added over here. So if you want to create the contact, there are two ways in which you can create a contact. It can be either an individual or um, a company. Afterwards, we can provide the name of the uh, company of the individual. And individual contacts will have a company contact link to it. After selecting the individual, a new company name, the field will be appearing below that. Okay. And afterwards, you can also find that we can provide the address. And in the um, address, you can provide all other details. And uh, here we have the other information like the tax ID. Then uh, the phone number, mobile, uh, email, uh, website, tag and also we have to fill out all these details. Now we can find different uh, tags over here. I mean uh, tabs over here such as the contact and addresses. Now let's move on to the one that we have created. So I would like to choose the uh, contact which is Azure Interior. So in this case, you can see that this is a company and the name of the company uh, is given like Azure Interior and we have provided the address and all other details is linked over here. So under the contact and addresses, we have different addresses that is a multiple address. So you can just add all these address at the bottom of the contact form with the several tabs. So when you just click on add button, you can see that we can add different address like uh, simply the contact address and we can add the invoice address. Sometimes the customer may be purchasing some of the item in one of the address and we may just need to create the invoice in the ad other address. So in that case, we will be using the invoice address. And uh, sometimes we may just need to deliver the item into another address. So in that case, you can just use the delivery address and we have the follow up address. Follow up address is uh, simply used for uh, follow up the, um, the contact or the uh, customer. Uh, and that's why we, do, we use the contact, I mean follow up address and we have the ad other address over here. So other address is mainly for uh, the company purposes and all. So you can find all the uh, things like you can just add an alternative address to the existing contact form. Uh, it can be a private address uh, adding to the contact form. So once everything is done, you can uh, see all the created addresses under the contact and addresses. Now you can also find that uh, the sales and purchase tab over here so under the sales and purchase tab you can find the details like the sales person the payment terms the payment method the price list that we are just using uh, and all other uh, details is given over here so if you uh, just link any other modules other than sales such as the purchase module then point of sale uh, you can find all modules over here so all these things will be configured uh, under the sales and purchase tab over here now under the contact you can also link the bank account of the uh, person as well as you can also find the invoice follow-up uh, like we have different invoicing follow-up like it can be 15 days 30 days and all and if you want to send the automatic remainders you can send that or if it's manual you can also choose the other option as manual and if you want to just do with the next reminder option you can set the date over here so let's set it as 26 and the responsible person will be michelle admin so if the person is not uh, making the payment we have to just make a uh, reminder for uh, uh, the follow-up on 26th of uh, february and the responsible person will be michelle admin over there 
and if we want to just send the customer invoices like uh, by mail or post or any other options we can just choose that and here you can also find the accounting entries over here that is the account receivable as well as account payable and if you want to just automate uh, the bill like the auto pause bills and all you can also choose the option from here always ask after three validations without edits or never now apart from this we can also find the internal note uh, tab that is the uh, we can just add the internal notes over here uh, in it and uh, once it's done you can see that we can also find different smart tabs like the meeting sales invoiced customer statement and we can also find the lot and serial number that is associated with this person so now let me move on to a particular module uh, let's say we are just going to perform a sales over here so let me click on new button and let me add uh, the uh, customer over here that is azure interior so as i just choose uh, azure interior here you can see that uh, as we have just enabled the uh, customer addresses from the accounting module we can just manage with the invoice address as well as delivery address separately over here so the invoice will be generating to this address and uh, the delivery will be doing to the other address so if you want to find that you can also get all the details from there now once that's done you can just add the item so i'm going to add the item which is a black embroidered shirt and in this case you can set the amount and also i would like to change the price as 30 over here so let's say uh, the amount is 30 and 15 percentage of taxes applying once that's done you can just confirm the quotation and the quotation will be turning into a sale order and we just need to deliver the item to the customer so when we just try to deliver the item to the customer here you can see that the load number or the serial number that is taken now you can save it and click on validate in order to deliver the item to the customer so once it's done you can just move on to the uh, sales module and uh, we can just create the invoice over here and we are just going to create a regular invoice so here you can see we can just confirm the invoice so once this is done this will be affected under the contact okay so when a contact is added into the odoo database you can see those contacts will be available under the different modules that is linked with the contact module so in this case uh, for sales module the contact will be linked as customers but in case of purchase it will be linked as vendors and you can find all uh, those contacts from different modules so if a not if a contact is not linked into the contact module you can just create a contact from uh, the particular modules like the sales module purchase module and all and uh, the newly created or in instantly created module i mean um, contacts will be added into the contact module so once we just create the invoice we just need to make the payment right so we are just going to make the payment and here you would be able to find that currently it is in in payment state and after reconciliation only it will be moving to the back now what we have to do is that when you just move on to the contact module you can find the change that is reflected over here so you can see that the amount that is affected uh, like uh, we have the sales uh, three sales that is created for this person and you can find uh, the recently created sales uh, with the amount of the tax that is applied and all and afterwards you can also find uh, the customer statement so here you can currently see that the amount is just incremented and you can also find uh, the uh, yeah the bill that is re uh, the customer invoice that is recently generated for this customer and uh, the invoiced amount is shown over here so you can find the amount and you can also see the load number that is used so here you can see the load number that is currently used for the transaction and you can find every details from this section so when we just create a contact it is not only creating a contact and we can also get every details that is associated with different modules and that is installed in your database so that's how we just deal with a contact module in Odoo. So if you have any doubt regarding this module, you can just give a comment. Um, and if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cybrosis. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.